Hey there, YouTubers! It's Mr. Zero of Mr. Zero's Tower right here. Um, so, today the circus came to town, and I'm glad it did, because I went. When I say the circus, I mean the circus that most people talk about, which is Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey's Circus. And, um, I'm glad that I got the opportunity to go and check that out before I made this video that I was planning on doing. This is a response to a comment that my uh, friend Rezzy345 uh, made on my last video. Basically a question he was asking about, it was uh, not on my last video, but it was the video about how I'm now not afraid to call myself a clown. Um, on this video, he was talking about the thought of studying to be a clown, and clown. he asked if there was a clown college, and um, I wanted to respond to that, and I was trying to think of the best way to do it. And uh, So this is for you, buddy. Um, yes, there is a clown college. There are a, a few, actually. There are circus schools, clown schools, um, clown conservatories various ones, and I auditioned for one of them back in 96 or 97. That's not a long time ago. Actually, that is quite a long time ago. That's quite a quite a hop, skip, and jump back in time, especially for you, my little buddy. Um, you weren't even alive back then. <sighs> but yeah, um, I auditioned for Ringling Brothers Clown College when I found out that they were having holding auditions out here, Salt Lake City, Utah, at the Delta Center, which is now called Energy Solutions Arena, which is where the circus always comes. And it, it always comes there because it's a, such a prime location for right next to the train tracks because they still use train to transport a lot of their stuff. Um, but it's always over there at Energy Solutions. But and I and I I, took, I was with my daughter at the circus. And I got to tell her a little bit that I auditioned for their clown college. Um, I was down there on the ground floor, in the center ring, with a group of clowns that worked there. They were videotaping everyone's audition, and the audition wasn't like any audition I've had for any movie or any commercial or anything like that. Instead of like, hi, my name is blah blah blah, and you know and they, it was a group audition. They had everyone line up. Um, they paired people off and taught them, you know, about the straight man, funny man um, bit. And I was paired off with another, another teen, and he wanted to be the straight man, which I always find surprising because I expect most people want to be the comic. So I, I played it out my best. But I think one of the problems was is that I was a teenager. I had to fill out an, a teenager um, application, or a kid child's application rather than an adult. You have to be an adult to attend Clown College. And really, I never found out exactly what happened with that. I never got a call back, nor did I inquire back or anything like that. But more about that later. Um... I thought the audition went pretty well. My mother said that one of the other clowns asked who she was with. She pointed out me. He says, oh, he's doing a good job. And I'm sure he probably, you know, he could have just been saying that for politeness. The next day, however, I did attend Ringling Brothers Circus, and um, one of the clowns who was at the audition, she was there, and she started talking to me a little bit and said that I did a really good job and that she was really happy with you know, working for them and really excited to be a clown and blah. There's a small conversation about clowns and all that. And, um, yeah, so that was my experience. I auditioned for them. The, there isn't much. I, re I remember performing an original um, pantomime piece that I messed up on because... I was pretending like I was lifting a weight, and I fell down, and I was wearing a fake nose, and that nose popped probably like a good two feet in the air. And everyone thought that was funny, but they're also like, you fell wrong. They were teaching me the proper way to fall on my back. And I thought I could handle it, but I, I didn't. I, I, I didn't black out, but I was a little woozy after that. Um, back to the point in hand, though. So I went to the circus, and... Uh, I'm watching the clowns there, and I'm watching them perform, and I, I think to myself, Mr. Zero really just does not belong 
at Ringling Brothers, not to be down on anything that they do. I wouldn't fit in. Much like um, Emmett Kelly when the famous hobo tramp clown um, had, you know, the, there was a long time where he was trying to work for Ringling Brothers and they just didn't know how to fit him in because his style was so different than what they were doing. And it's still that way. You don't have um, a lot of opportunity for that. Although now they do have celebrity clowns, so you could do some of that. But their clowns are a lot more cartoonish and very animated. Uh, I was watching them, and you could see there, there were some that are, were a little bit less animated. It was during the dance routine at the very beginning. And some of the clowns are sitting there, and they're like, giving it their all, and then there were some of them more like, you know, they're doing the moves, but I thought it was interesting. I kind of liked the people that were kind of like, you yeah, know, this is what we do, this is this is work. And they might have been having a bad day, they might have been having an off night, and they might have been feeling sick, who knows? Who knows? But it was just interesting that there were some clowns that were just like, yay, we're here, we're clowns, and we're working for Ringling Brothers. And then there were the other clowns that were kind of like, no, we're here, it's cool, you know, whatever. I found that enjoyable, but um, I I just I just don't think I I think it's okay that I didn't get to go to their clown call. Um, and I think that a lot a lot of that has to do with you go to their clown college, you learn to become their type of clown, and so they'll hire their types of clowns before. Other clowns, there are other kinds of clowns that'll be there. I'm sure the ones that are like kind of like, mm, they might not have gone through clown college. They might have learned their clowning somewhere else, and really sees them as a good talent. But um, uh, I I don't think being a clown at Ringling would be as much fun as it would be at other places because. You're kind of one of the clown alley. They have like a ton of clowns there. They have like twelve clowns, and um, you're just one amongst those clowns. Unless you're the celebrity clown, which, you know, they're usually not from the clown college anyway. Those celebrity clowns are they're some famous clown from somewhere else, like David Larable, I think is his name, or Larable or Bello Knock. He's from a circus family, um, and he's been in circus his whole life, and th they're not like your average ringling clown, which isn't bad, you know. If you uh, they're per they do their job, and they do a good job at it. I just don't think it would be for me anymore, you know. And it's interesting to look at the evolution of the clowns there. Um, because they're not so very traditional, uh, circus-wise. You don't see white faces anymore. There's no traditional white face clowns. There's no traditional grotesque white face, which are what these clowns are, if you look. These kind of represent the what people find scary about clowns. Usually, typically, are of the grotesque white face nature. Felix Adler and that style. You know, the big smiley faces with the big buck teeth and the uh, bald heads and all that. Um, and the, the the clowns for Ruling Brothers are so very clean cut looking. They're so bright colored. And it's cool. They look like living cartoons and they act like living cartoons. Um, that's not Mr. Zero, though. He's not a living cartoon. He's a very honorary kind of... He represents something different. Um... And then it made me think about Cirque du Soleil. Would I be happy working for them? And I don't think I necessarily would be happy working for Cirque du Soleil. You know, five, six years ago, that was my dream. It's no longer my dream. I don't think I'd be happy there. I don't think they'd ever want me. And that's fine, too. I don't know where I fit in in this. And I don't know if I'm going to pursue anything anymore. Um, I might go start doing a... Uh, open mics at stand-up places and do, like, stand-up-y kind of slapsticky stuff. I'm thinking about it. I'm not promising anything, but this is what I'm thinking about doing. Um, but it's not 
something that I just, you know, have to do as much anymore. I don't feel the need to just jump. And that's probably because Haunted House season's in, and I'm getting my performance bug out by working at Haunted Houses. Um... But anyway, well, one of my big points this is, uh, yes, there are clown colleges, and when you go to a clown college or you go to a clown conservatory or a clown workshop, you're learning to be what that person teaches you. You're learning that experience. So um, the best way to find a clown college, if that's what you're into, is find a clown college that teaches clowning the way you want to do it, and then go. Pay that money. Or figure out how you want to be a clown and do it yourself. And some people might sit there and say, you're doing it wrong. Some people say, oh, and then some people might say, you're brilliant. You're, you're, you're an innovator. And some people might look at me and say, hey, you're really funny and weird, dude. Which is what most people say to me. But yeah, um, I just really don't think I'd be happy at Ringling Brothers. Never. I, I wouldn't be happy doing that. Unless I got to be the one clown that wasn't happy being there as a character. Like, it's like... Oh, look, there's Mr. Zero. <laughs> that would be fun, to be the the grump clown that doesn't belong there. Of course, you know, with Ringling Brothers, they'd probably have to add a storyline where, Oh, look, and now Mr. Zero has found his heart. And then, you know, all's well and good with the world. So I wouldn't be happy at Ringling Brothers. Cirque du Soleil. They're not even particularly interested in clowns, per se. They're looking for physical actors who have good presence. If you're a clown, that's great. But if you're an actor that has that, these abilities, if you're a dancer, they will take you, and they, they say it on their website, they will take you and turn you into a clown. They will. They will turn you into what they want, which is fine. That's what they need. It's a, it's a big um, industry, and uh, they know what they want. And so they look for it, and they hire according to that. And I don't think I'd fit in there, and I don't know if I'd be happy with it. I think I'd be more happy um, doing theater work. And that's kind of like maybe what I should pursue. But to answer all your questions, Resi 345, yes, you can study to be a clown. Yes, you can go to clown college. Or you can be a bum like me and uh, read everything you can about clowns, circus, and whatnot, and you can try to do it your own way. It's a lot harder. It's an uphill battle. Oh, and I forgot to mention the one circus that I m most likely would be happy with, but I, I'm never going to get in there. And that's Big Apple Circus. They seem to have a more love for clowns that aren't just your strict traditional clowns. They seem to go... Um, if you watch the uh, documentary series Circus, you see the three clowns that they have working in that show. And they're... Um, you've got you got Barry Lubin, who was a Ringling Clown, and he does a really good job as Grandma. He's retiring this year. This is his last season. you got Mark. I, don't, I didn't catch his last name. And he's a very very nice and active clown, but he's still not, he wouldn't be a good ringling clown. And then you've got Glenn, who would not <laughs> be good at ring. He, he feels out of place at, at Big Apple. He's like, you know, they're telling him, you're a little, there's at one point where Barry takes Glenn aside and says to him, he looks at him and he says, there's this point where the light's shining down on you and you're, you're kind of squinting in the crowd you need to stop that because it's it's conveying something you don't want conveyed. And he says, what, like serial killer? And Barry says, let's just say it's conveying something you don't want to convey. And uh, he looks at the clown, at the camera and says, they don't want... I just suddenly blanked on the name of the clown that he mentions, but it's he works for, for Cirque du Soleil. And he says, they don't want angry blah, blah, blah. They want Oliver Hardy. <laughs> He he's like they don't like me here because I'm an angry clown. I, I I relate to Glenn a lot. Uh, anyone that wants to watch that, it's on Netflix. Circus, really good documentary about circus. And um, yeah, so I've rambled on enough about clowning and clown college and all that. Uh
I don't know what else to say. So I guess that that's it. Um, drink more Mountain Dew.